What is good, everybody? I'm Jake from the internet, and we're here in episode 5 of our Live and Build Server Play series. I'd just like to say that if you enjoy yourself at any time during this video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. It really does help out a lot, and I appreciate it very much. So today, we're going to be working on the build that you see behind me currently. This is going to be our permanent residence on the server, and we got the basic structure going on right now and in this video you'll be seeing some of the things that went into making this build so without further ado here you go he sucks at doing commentary that's what they said to him but he can sing and do a ring and everybody grin he'll whack a hundred spiders down with a bucket made of steel Flash fly again, come home my friend, and bunnies were your next meal. Just kidding, we're not going to eat bunnies. Especially not baby bunnies, don't eat the baby bunnies, I'm sorry bunny bunny. Where'd the bunny go? Bunny bunny. <laughs> Little bunny bunny, we're not going to eat you. What is the plan for the building? So, what are we going to put on top of these here? More spruce? I think so. Let's just look at that for a second. For a gosh darn second. Maybe just a little bit of spruce. You know, in uh, like the corners here. Like maybe that much. And then we'll kind of taper it back a little bit. Like we did on the bottom side. I said taper it back a little bit. But I don't want to go too high with it. So maybe we'll come to like here. again this again and then we will we will rock here so we have to do this Meow. But I don't like that. Gotta let the dog in. And then we'll bring in the stone brick once again. Um. Yeah, like we said, this needed to be the roof. You figure out this one corner first, right? And I say that's a good, you know, base structure. It's got some interest. I can add stuff to it later. Whatever. It's just basic structure right now, right? And then you try to mimic it over here, right? But this can't be exactly the same. But I, so I made there's some rules. Like for this one, this is one, two, three up, 
I made I made it bump out one for five blocks in the middle, right? Like so, cut a line in the middle and it's it's symmetrical. So I got five blocks bumped out another you know, block from this last court. So over here you go somewhere in the middle. You gotta have you're gonna have to judge judge where your middle is because this one is not symmetrical. So it's gonna be more organic. But you know uh you come up one, two in the third level, you come out, you know, five blocks here, it's six, but that's because this corner is much larger. It has much more surface area because that like there's a big long flat side there that's um, four blocks wide and here there's like the biggest flat side is two blocks wide so it's it's a little bit funky to figure out but that's one of the rules you know you go up one you go up to the third course and you got to bump it out for a few blocks you know bump out new new terrace or whatever you want to call it there's another rule that this isn't next to a stone brick it's next to a spruce so if I wanted to have like if I had this um, this couldn't like if I had this down one it wouldn't it wouldn't match you know you gotta kind of keep the pattern and the theme together Another rule that I was following is that it steps down one every time. There's no, like, it doesn't jump up two anywhere. So it's just one, 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 flat, one, 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 one. There's no double uh, vertical increases on the inside of there. And now we using those those rules, like here, I had a stone brick, and then this was nothing and that was nothing and this was stone brick and that was stone brick and there was nothing above it right but it, it didn't follow the rule because this stair on this terrace needed to be next to the spruce to make the the pattern appropriate okay well we figured out all three corners now now we just need to mirror these two and we'll be golden what happened here mm. We gotta curve that one so it's on the edge. This needs to be curved edge. Living on the edge. Jake from the internet's Minecraft building tip of the day. If you're working with glass, Make sure that you have a silk touch pick so that you don't lose all that hard earned material. I know a lot of people out there are uh, not the best or uh, the most willing to go out and collect materials. So uh, be conservative with your resources and use a silk touch pick. The server will thank you. And that's Jake from the Internet's Minecraft building tip of the day. As you can see, we're getting a little bit of a frame going up for our roof. Got some crazy organic shapes arching their way up the, the center point there. That front one was easy. Once I had the uh, this first corner done here. I knew exactly what angle to, to make this front one. And this one doesn't turn at all, so it was easy to get in there. And then I mirrored it over there. Now what we have to do is create this third arch. We're just going to try our best to work our way up there. And I will show you how I figure out what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start in this corner. One, two. 
and then whenever we come in one, so we'll come out on the 45 because they were on the corner of the block. So we go up one, and then it goes up one more, over one, up one. We'll come diagonal. Or do we want it to go harder? Let's make it go harder, so we'll go here instead. That's going to give it a, like a harder turn. Now we're going to go on the 45, and we're going to go up 2 now. So we're going to come back this way, 1, 2. And let's see the direction we're going. We'll do the 45 again, and then we'll come out to the right. Or to the left, this way. So, on the 45, and then out to the left. We'll make it, make the left more. It's a trick to use in carpentry a lot. You use a level to keep things straight. This is our, our level line, so we know where our, we know that our pattern is, is working properly and the elevation is correct, which means that uh, our angle will be correct and we will meet somewhere around there at the end. You didn't have to do something as curvy as this, but I like it because it gives it a little bit more interest, I think. And uh, it's fun to play around with things. And, you know, like this, these are difficult kind of builds. And, um, you know, you'll. The more you play around with them, the more you're going to learn. It's one thing. And you, you never know. You might make something really cool that you don't see a lot in Minecraft. Which is my goal a lot of the time. Of course, it's only raining in the area where I'm trying to work. Maybe this sleep will get rid of the rain. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. So if you don't know already, we are working on our house. House. And here it is. Ta-da! Up two. Then straight back. One. I know, this is super interesting. But, you know, a lot of people aren't really sure how to make organic lines in Minecraft or they don't uh, trust it, you know. It's a little funky. It's not your everyday beginner minecraft kind of build okay so two one's one so that one was supposed to be diagonal okay I'm curious when this is all said and done I've never seen similar builds to this I looked up a lot of pentagon Minecraft stuff 
but it was mostly like recreations of the Pentagon, the United States Pentagon building, the diagonal, diagonal, off to the side, diagonal, off to this side. So just double checking, making sure along the way that everything is kosher, that you are actually mirroring the image and not copying it hand for hand, unless you want to. Okay, so that actually looks really cool. It gives it, uh, you know, some more interest and uh, a little bit more shape. 